We are on the island of Bohol, and today we plan to visit some of the island's top attractions. Any snakes in the water? Mm. No. No. Only no. crocodiles. <laughs> only, only crocodiles. <laughs> only crocodiles. <laughs> oh. Okay. There's a crocodile, Samantha. <laughs> So I'm just reading up here as well, there's over 1,700 chocolate hills scattered around an area of 50 square kilometres. Mm. So there's actually quite a lot of them as well. Yeah. This is the closest we're to getting to one now. They are a little bit difficult to see because they are so small and then they blend in with the trees. It's absolutely beautiful, there's a lot more trees and it's kind of more of a mountainous area, hence obviously the chocolate hills. So it's a, it's a different drive to what we've been used to in Bahal. Already we're starting to see a lot more of the hills, so we are getting better views as we're going up the stairs. Bohol is known for having some incredible nature and some of the Philippines' must-visit places. So today we plan to visit as much of the island as we can. Hi, hop on, let's hit the road. Oh good, ready for the drive. <laughs> for a long spin. Right, off we go. So today we're heading to the famous Chocolate Hills of Bohol. We're actually very excited. Um, the drive is over an hour. It's an so hour it's 40, I think. So it's a, bit of a, yeah, it's a bit of a long one, but uh, we should be all right. We just have to keep an eye on the weather. It is due to rain. So we're hoping that we uh, avoid it today. Yes. The amazing. drive should be all right. We actually did a similar drive when we were in Mobile. Yeah. So we're used to it. And the drives are always lovely once the weather stays dry, of course. Yeah. <laughs> we actually have a couple of stops today. So hopefully, Hopefully we tick them all off. We tick them all off and the weather does stay dry for us again. It's part of being here in rainy season. Mm. <laughs> Things are a little bit unpredictable, but we'll see how it goes. Welcome to the Tarsier Sanctuary. Right, so we decided to stop off here first. This was actually on our list of things to do today but it was actually closer because it did start raining on the way so it was like a 35 minute drive. Right so we're in it was 150 peso per person each to enter into the sanctuary and we have a guide as well who's going to take us around. It's like a proper jungle. What is this one oh up here? Oh my god, he's tiny. Where? I can't see him. Where is he? <laughs> can you spot him? I can see a little bit of him, yeah. He's smaller than I expected. Is he asleep? Yeah. Do they sleep a lot? Yeah. Most of the day is asleep? Yeah, um, okay. uh, most of the day. But at night, they're active. They're going to hunt for their food. Okay. What do they normally eat? Insects. Insects is what they. How many is here? Um, we have six here in this area. Okay. This is just for the guests, a okay. viewing area. Perhaps. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they have names? No. No. They just. <laughs> the one there. Yeah. Look at him. You can see him really clear. Oh. Why is he tiny? <laughs> oh my God. God, they're really small. I didn't think that they were that small. Yeah, that's uh, you see on pictures and you kind of, you can't really gauge how small they are, but they're tiny. Is it, do they get much bigger than this or is that no. their size? No, that's, that's their size. That's their yes. size. It's about the size of your hand. The size is 4.1 inches. 4.1 inches. Yeah. Oh my God, he's moving. And you can't touch them or anything? Yeah, we cannot. Okay. They bite. Do they? They yeah, bite? They bite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, so they just hang around the six in the total in this area, is it? And they just sort of, will they just stay in the tree there? Yeah, in the tree. Yeah. Yes. But when the weather gets very hot, they tend to stay on the ground. Really? Okay. Okay. And do they interact with each other? Um, not really, since they're very territorial. Okay. They yeah. just keep themselves to themselves. Yes, they're I solitary see. as well. Okay. Okay. That is something else, isn't it? I didn't realize how small they were going to be either. Like that when you when you look at pictures online, yeah, they, they're <laughs> obviously zoomed right in and really good photos. They look much bigger. They're so small. And what's the uh, what? How do you actually pronounce the word? Is it tarsiers? Um, tarsier. Tarsiers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tarsiers. Okay. Look at his eyes. I know. <laughs> little beady eyes. They're like little hamsters. Like they're that small. <laughs> honestly. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, thank you. It's very slippery. It was raining all day yesterday and then with the rain today and we're wearing flip-flops, which probably wasn't the best idea. But uh, it's lovely here, it's so peaceful. So yeah, there is some rules. You have to be really, really quiet. Also, no flash photography because they're just sleeping in the trees. They're so cute, honestly. They're like little gerbils. <laughs> How long do they normally live? Um, 20, 25 years. So. 20, 25 years, oh, okay. What would be like their biggest danger? Like who, what animal goes for um, them? Like? House cats. House, house cats? cats? Oh God. Yes. Really? Yes. It wouldn't be safe in our house. We have we have five cats at home. Very <laughs> very in front of you. They are a little bit difficult to see because they are so small and then they blend in with the trees. You can see his little hands and all. <gasps> Look how close he is. Oh my god. Look at his little eyes and his hands. Oh my god, they're very cute, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is the closest we're to getting to one now. Oh, you, right? you got me? Yeah, you in? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's the next day. Yesterday it was called off because the rain uh, it came and then it just stayed around, so we couldn't really do much else after the uh, the Tarzers sanctuary. So as you can see, today is a much better day. So we're heading off now to a river. What's the name of the river? It's called the Lobok River, okay. and it's a really famous attraction for tourists and even I think local people. Mm. But uh, you can do a few different things on it. So you can actually go like on a river cruise boat. Mm. Uh, you can do some subboards or kayaks but i think we're gonna go with the subboards yeah i think so yeah so i was looking it up online last night so we're gonna make our way to it's called the lobok river resort and mm. they rent them they hire them out there sweet so i think it's about a 40 minute drive away which isn't too bad sweet let's rock and roll So happy days, we're all booked in. Um, when we arrived, she did say, I'm not too sure if it's going to be <laughs> happening today because of the rain yesterday and the current, but thankfully after us driving all the way, it is. So it was 4 99 per person, which is actually really good because I did look up other ones and they were about 800 per person peso. Um, so that's grand, we're booked in and we are just gonna go through here so we can use the restrooms to get changed into our wet clothes and then we can leave our bags behind the bar and off we go. Oh, how nice is this? This is lovely, isn't it? This is absolutely gorgeous. And I think we're the only ones doing it. <laughs> I don't know yet, but like I don't see anybody else here. It's just us. And our guide is waiting. Um, I think we picked a good spot to do it as well. Yeah. This actually reminds me of our time in India. When we were in the south of India, we did like a, a houseboat tour and it was kind of along this river. And it's sort of similar um, sort of scenery and things like that. So. It's this very, cool. yeah, it's very similar to India like mm. that and I think when we were looking up Bohol and we seen this place we were like we have to do because we yeah, loved yeah. the backwaters in Kerala, it was a place called Alibi. But We already did the houseboat tour and I think you can do something very similar here so yeah. that's why we're opting for the sub bars, the sub you want to mix it up a little bit. But, but in terms of the river and all it's all kind of similar surrounded by you know lovely big palm trees and stuff like that so this should be interesting. Yes. Subboard is not really something that we do that often so we're, we're, we'll see how we uh, how we get on. We're more of kayak people, I guess you'd say. Don't know uh, how our balance is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll see anyway how it goes. We're just, oh, your man's calling us there. So we go and get ready. And Let's go. Hit the river. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Hello, hi. Actually, so there's no crocodiles in this? Yeah. Okay. No I crocodiles. heard that, I read up a line anyway, <laughs> that the only thing that you need to watch out for is a coconut hitting off your head. <laughs> is there any, <laughs> the only any, uh, any snakes in the water? No. no. 
No. Only crocodile. <laughs> only, only, only crocodile. <laughs> only crocodile. <laughs> Look at the scenery, man. It's lovely, isn't it? I know it's gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really nice around here. I love these type of places. Yeah, they're gorgeous. They're so peaceful and calm. Okay, by the way, I'm Edwin. Edwin, nice to meet you. Yeah. Before what do you we mean? start, Ed Edwin. Edwin. Yeah, we have a short briefing first. Now to write the words of the okay? Okay. First, this one is the paddle. Okay. And hold like this. This mm -hmm. is the handle. Okay. You hold like this. And you have to paddle twice. One, two, mm. then transfer to the other side. Okay. okay. You have to paddle side by side so that your board, board will run straight. Okay. Okay. Back down. Oh. Yeah, stand up already. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I, hold, I will hold you. I will hold? Yeah, cool. Okay. Well done. I right, know what I have to do is float down the river, Smitty. I think I'll see it first. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not going to the dance. Well, I'm gonna. No, it's okay. No, I'll fall. I know. <laughs> okay, I'll I don't want to fall at the very beginning. Why? Okay. Now I sit on my bum, like just sit like this. There's a crocodile, Smitty. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Oh God. <laughs> See ya! Right, so we're on the soap bar, I'm standing up in it. Samantha's finding it a little bit tricky. So she might go for a kayak. Uh, our guide is with us as well. I think it might be just the initial kind of worry. I think after a few minutes she might be fine. Uh, it seems calm enough now, I'm no expert, but he did say that there was a lot of rain yesterday, which we knew because we were out in it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's what kind of has made the current a little bit bit dicey but um yeah it seems all right i'm just waiting for these now to get their act together and then we'll head downstream <laughs> actually interesting as well with these sub parts how slow you go even if you if you put in a bit of work it's like two to the right two to the left two to the right two to the left um, but you don't really fly along it's kind of very relaxed and very kind of a slow process different to like a kayak where you can get up a little bit of speed this is more just about kind of coasting I think and just every now and again you know use the uh, use the oar to, to move you along but Right, I'm a little bit ahead than the uh, the guide and Samantha, so it's roasting hot and you're directly under the sun here. So I want to find a little bit of shade. So I'm gonna come in here and just hang out with a tree for a bit. And then they should be with me in a minute. As Edwin was uh, explaining there, there's no like crocodiles or snakes or anything like that in this river. Although what we, <laughs> what we are seeing is a lot of coconuts just floating by and uh, they're in the middle of the river there and they do look like little crocodile heads just cruising along well obviously they're just coconuts but you kind of have to go like that double take again i'm no expert but this does look like the type of place you'd see crocodiles when you see them on tv and stuff like that i mean look at this i mean if that's not where they hang out <laughs> i don't know what is in here look i think you just need to relax and just find your balance <laughs> that's it i think Exactly, yeah. Now look, this is what I mean. Look, the current is taking us. We're not even having to do anything here. Yeah, if you just spread your legs in the right sort of gap, um, your balance just sort of stays. It's fine, yeah. yeah. It's actually all right. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's so peaceful. It's lovely. Initially, you're starting to, uh, you're just trying to, you know, stay up on the board. It's not really taking in the surroundings, but now that we're a little bit more confident, we're just looking around. It's absolutely beautiful there.
have to say it's so relaxing honestly and it reminds me as we were talking about earlier when we seen it but even actually as we're paddling up through it it reminds me of india so much when we're in alapi and you can see like there's a couple of local houses and stuff along the river and locals are just living and it's just so lovely and nature around and the water is supposed to be really clean even though the color of it it actually doesn't look that clean but um i had read up online as well like you can swim in it and everything it actually feels nice and cool as well when i do lean on the board i can feel it i'm like oh yeah i we actually might get in for a swim in a little while so the true color is uh green it's just like the color of the sea but for now because because of the rainy season the water turns to brown ah that's the reason yeah because I was only saying that that um, I had read up online that uh, the water is really clean, but I was saying it doesn't look it, but that's just because of the rain. Yeah, because of the rain. It makes it a brownie colour. Hmm. But um, yeah, it's definitely worth doing this activity for sure. And for me, I don't know, I'm so nervous. I, I love the thoughts of coming to them. And then when I get here, I don't know what it is about it with the water. I do feel really nervous and I have a life jacket and all on, but once I get into it and I get the hang of it it's grand then <laughs> it's ridiculous I'm like I'm just being ridiculous but um it's lovely now I can actually stand up on the board without uh, the guide holding me where you just sort of holding on to the board just because it made me feel a little bit safer where now as I'm doing it by myself but um it's lovely it's so peaceful oh this is your house here oh wow that is cool, right along the river. <laughs> I don't mind it now. <laughs> At the beginning, I was like, Keelan, don't touch off my parts. <laughs> I was terrified. Honestly, you're flying it. Keelan's always the expert at the water sports. And he encourages me, to be fair, <laughs> to not be a little wimp. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's great, wasn't it? Oh, it's so peaceful, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. I highly recommend it, honestly, like that. We paid 4 99 each peso, and that was a private tour. And the tour guide was lovely. He was so nice. So I know you can do it in other places as well, and I did mention that it's a little bit more expensive, so maybe it is worth noting and keeping this place in mind if you are looking to come to the Lobach River and do the sup boards. They also do kayaks, and I think you can go out on a boat as well. There's a few different trips, but we just did the sup board, so that's what we know the price of, but it'd be definitely worth checking it out. Okay, so we're on the way to the Chocolate Hills. Truth be told, this is our third attempt to uh, <laughs> to make it up here due to weather. But uh, today is a cracker, so we're uh, we're happy about that. We're on the way. We're it's about an hour and a half drive from our hotel, and we've about 30 minutes to go. We just pulled in because we've been on the bike for about an hour. A bit, a bit stiff. <laughs> so stiff, honestly. <laughs> you need to get out and have a little stretch. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, one thing we're noticing driving up this way because um, we haven't been up this way before on the island of Bahal is uh, it's absolutely beautiful there's a lot more trees and it's kind of more of a mountainous area hence obviously the chocolate hill so it's a uh, it's a different drive to what we've been used to in Bahal and in the Philippines in general most of it has been along the coast and stuff like that so this is a little bit more inland it's it's gorgeous isn't it like look at the size of them trees and stuff absolutely beautiful it's like driving through a forest area yeah. here isn't it like the trees we've actually absolutely. stopped in a nice spot as well it's nice and shaded so yeah yeah uh, we're not complaining about the weather though because we wanted a beautiful day for it we're exactly. forgetting a beautiful day for it <laughs> exactly so um but yeah no the drive is absolutely stunning mm. honestly yeah much we say an hour and 20 minutes which isn't so just bad the, yeah yeah about that yeah yeah so um so yeah like i said we've had 30 minutes to go so we just pulled in just for a drink of water and just to uh stretch the legs a bit so uh, yeah, we're going to continue on 
There is other ways if you don't want to drive a bike as well that you can do the chocolate hill. So we've seen a couple of tourist buses driving by us on the drive as well. So I think there's a couple of tourists that you yeah. can book actually. Yeah. But obviously we opted for the bike because it is a cool way of getting around. We love the bike, don't we? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean that's the type of thing. If you're if you're a tourist coming to these kind of countries, like everywhere that we go, you know, there's always tourists that do it anyway. So if you don't want to rent a bike, uh, you know, you can still make your way to these places. We just prefer to rent a bike because like. Amanda says, you know, just gives us that bit of freedom to do it. So, and um, it's just that's just what we prefer, you know. But um, anyway, just, there yeah. is. I think it's 30 minutes we have left. 32 minutes. Anyway, so we'll right. jump back on the bike and crack head on. off, and we'll be there in no time. Our tickets it's a hundred peso per person and then we're in the parking lot here so a uh, there's shuttle buses that come and actually take you up because there's no parking up at the top mm -hmm. right okay so all we have to do is wait <laughs> oh, oh hold on Jeez, that was the shortest way ever <laughs> i barely got both cheeks on the sea thank you Okay, so we've made it to the viewing point of the platform of the Chocolate Hills and if you're unsure what the Chocolate Hills are, it's like the number one thing to do in Bahal and they're just kind of unique landscape I guess you'd say, they're kind of these odd shaped hills aren't they kind of just thrown together but yet they're all so symmetrical, they look like they're all the same size when you're mm. up looking at them from a view so we're at a point here um, but it's not the highest point, we're just looking here, the steps in front of us and yeah. we can walk up to the top of them and it's like you're on one of the hills yeah. but anyways, and you're looking down on them but this is the furthest and the closest that I think you can go to them Yeah, I'm not sure if we can actually get onto them like, yeah. you know what I mean, but um, they're kind of bizarre, aren't they? The, the, the shape of them and how the formation basically And the reason as well, they're called the Chocolate Hills but they're actually green now because we are in the rainy season and I think the reason, the name behind the Chocolate Hills is because in the dry season, they're brown in yes. colour. So, so they look to, like Today they're green, chocolate. so we're, uh, we're calling them the Broccoli Hills. The Broccoli Hills. <laughs> so I'm just reading up here as well, there's over 1,700 Chocolate Hills scattered around an area of 50 square kilometres. Mm. So there's actually quite a lot of them as well. Yeah. Also I heard, I don't know how true this is, but they're trying to get it to be a wonder of the world. So I don't know, uh, I don't know how they'd go about doing that, but it's certainly very unique, isn't it? The way it's kind of laid out, like you wouldn't normally see stuff like that. It's so, such a strange shape, like. And as you said there, actually, sorry, that's funny about the wonders of the world. So there's seven wonders of the world, but when you look up online, they class the Chocolate Hills Ooh. as the eight wonder, if there was an eight wonder. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as we said, we're on a platform, so we're gonna just walk up. There's uh, the stairs over to the left-hand side of us here. Um, and it gives you a better view as I guess you'd say so um, the, the platform's like a 360 kind of thing so you can kind of walk around and see uh, you know different views of the hill so we're going to go to the to the through the stairs here and then to the very top and as Amanda said the stairs actually lead you to the top of one of the chocolate hills so we'll be able to see them all and also stand on one so that's good yeah yeah that's cool yeah and judging from here because when I'm looking from here they, they actually do look some different sizes like they mm. don't look the same size but again I think you have to look at them from above yes better vantage points yes huh. as you can uh, imagine a big tourist spot brings a lot of tourists so it's quite busy I don't think you can come to Bohol without coming to see the shopping hill yes so we're happy that we got a dry day for it <laughs> Already we're starting to see a lot more of the hills, so we are getting better views as we're going up the stairs. Thank you. Oh my god, look at that. This is cool, isn't it? gorgeous, isn't it? Look at them even all over there. Yeah. They're everywhere. <laughs> There's a few dark clouds in the sky, but the sun is still coming through. It's bogies. absolutely beautiful. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? It's really nice as well because it's kind of bouncing off the hills, isn't it? You can see them clear. like This whole area, as we were talking about, even the drive up to it is absolutely beautiful. It's mm. really countryside, mountainous <laughs> area. Like we could see the paddy fields and people working in them yeah, and all. Yeah. And it's lovely. It's beautiful. It's kind of bizarre, like, because 
it's hard to believe that they actually exist. That there's a part of the, the planet few... that just has these lumps. <laughs> <laughs> there's a few myths behind it as well. Oh really? Yeah. Like what? You know, there's like oh, two trolls or something like that. This is one Trolls? Of we're fighting and throwing bricks at each other <laughs> for the jack whales. Really? Yeah, there's a few myths you can read online. I don't know what people believe, whatever. Ooh, but if anyone knows the truth of how these were formed, uh, let us know in the comments. We're, well, I'm thinking it's a, it's a natural thing anyway, but. Yeah, for sure, yeah. This man just going with the troll story. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Either way, they're beautiful, they're unique, and uh, yeah, they were worth a drive to come out here for sure just to see it. I don't oh, think yeah. we've ever seen anything like this before. Have you? No, they're so perfect, yeah. honestly, aren't they? Thank you, my now. You're the best auntie I've ever Do you know what I'm laughing at? Look at the language that's used, look. A unique land farm known as the Chocolate Hills of Bohol was formed ages ago. <laughs> 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 oh, that's so oh, funny. that's brilliant. That's like some weed say in a vlog. Yeah, uh, uh, when you don't know, ago. when you don't know the date, it's like ages ago. Ages ago, was, that's brilliant. Was formed ages ago ages by ago. the uplift of coral deposits and the action of rainwater and erosion. And erosion. Oh, okay, These so. hills are scattered throughout the towns of Carmen. That's actually the town that we're in, I think. Okay, yeah. Um, and two other towns there as well, and consist yeah. of one thousand two hundred and sixty-eight mounds, mounds of, of the, the same, same general, general shape. shape. Okay, yeah, yeah. So thanks very much for watching our video of exploring Bohol. This island has become one of our favourites in the Philippines so far. If you like this video please leave a thumbs up just to support our channel. For all of our daily updates you can follow us on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. We'll leave the links to all of those in our video description. Our Filipino adventures continue so please make sure to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on all of our future uploads. So once again thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.